If you are beginner and you want to understand how to use the multimeter, this short video is for you. Look my friends, this is the symbol for the resistance. Here you have 200, 2K, 200 kilo ohm, 2 mega ohm, etc. If you want to test a resistor like this one, this is the mode that you have to select. 200 ohm for example, to test fuses and small resistors under 200 ohms. If you want to test a 1 mega ohm resistor, you have to select 2 mega ohm. Always select the higher range. To check a DC voltage, this is the symbol. We have 2 volt, 20 volt, 200 volt, etc. For example, this is a 9 volt battery. To test this battery, you have to select 20 volt. Always the higher value to avoid damaging your multimeter. For the alternating current, this is the symbol. Here we have 2 volt, 20 volt, 200 until 750 volt. Here F means farad. If you want to check capacitors, all type of capacitors. For this capacitor, for example, we have 100 microfarad. So to test it, we have to select 200 microfarad. Always to high value. Here we have nanofarad. 200 nanofarad, 2 microfarad, 200 microfarad. And the most important mode here is the diode mode and the continuity mode. The continuity mode to check the continuity and the diode mode to test diodes, transistors, MOSFETs, bridge rectifiers, etc. And please wait, you have to understand the meaning of these plugs. Here we have volts, ohm, here we have the common. So to test the voltage, the resistance, the diode, etc., you have to put the red probe here and the black probe in the common. But if you want, for example, to check a capacitance of a capacitor, you have to move on the black probe to this plug. Why do you see we have CX? To check the ampere, you have to move on this one here to this plug over here. 20 amps so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming videos and don't forget to check my channel for hundreds of exclusive videos like this one thank you very much